it's Boxing Day afternoon. The house is looking a little bit tidier. Pretty much everyone's gone home now. So I've not really done much today apart from burn a bit of rubbish. So I'm going to show you what I was looking at at Cheshire Farm Machinery last Friday. Just have a little bit of moots around their yard, see what they've got in. And then we'll find James's little tractor over there and we'll do the birthdays. I thought while I'm passing, I'd have a little bit of a mooch as to what's in Cheshire Farm Machinery's yard. I don't think I've actually been since we came in the summer on the combine because that's the main road there behind them trees we see the cars going past we did some of the BBC and we wanted to be like not off route but then not dead noisy because we've got the constant stream of traffic so we rung these guys up and we did some filming in their yard as we were passing so they're obviously at the Deutz Far dealership as you can see by the sign and uh, Broan or Brogan or Braun trailers so have a little bit of a mooch of what stock they've, done, they've got, even they're on the plows. I feel most of it from the cab actually, it's still really, really blustery. That savvy pink up in crazy colours. This is it, it's like a. Is it flames on it or is it like moon and sun and, sun and stars? A little case there, you can build a tractor puller out of that. Case loader on. I'll do Chris Ryan that. The other late 85. Cookie loader on. Bit of a random. Get stock on that loader. Big dump trail. Slurry cap. Low loader, sort of a similar size to ours. That spun drawer on the front of the new spring. With a big smiley face. That's the leaf spring. Live stock trailer. Don't really see the point of them because, like, you can have detachable ones and leave make a flat, can't you? Is that doesn't look like it detaches? It's big though, isn't it? Bendy Manatee. Or cone and pin, which is what Matt Bro used to use. Some bucket brushes for Tom Pemberton there. You know what? It must be selling some stuff because I'm sure they normally have a lot more stuff in. Plenty of gates. Fleet of Deutzes. That looks massive, doesn't it, that one? I think that's the same size as Clarkson's Lamborghini. It does look big, doesn't it? Merlot green as well. Buckets and with the needs cleaning. So this is how many meters is it? Nine meters. Nine Looks more meters. than nine meters. Them forks are massive. Nine meter man with 160 horsepower engine. Let's have a look at that again because that was quite cool. Little rubber flap there, so when you wash your radiator out, go out with it. Yeah, there you go. Little flap opens there, all the stuff falls out the bottom, and then that flicks down. Push the inside, get into the engine. So, if you see the engine on this is sideways, and that is because <laughs> they'll have the painting on them that way because even JCBs are that way as well, aren't they? I did that. Yeah, yeah, long the longitudinal engines are painting, yeah. So anyone that puts one in that way, I think Kramer do, they have to pay him a royalty. So, well, I saw this, this looks pretty good. Like a central loop point, which reminds me of that hog low loader I was looking at the other day in Ireland. It's been crawling all over it. And it's got auto lube as well. It's got electric windows. Oh, I see, yeah, so when you climb in, you don't, Smells like the dentist. Got <laughs> a uh, Jack Russell shelf. Rexel cab, this yeah, bigger cab. Electric window. Electric and, uh, mirrors as well. Electric rear, outside mirror. <laughs> Just to make them more expensive when you drop a bale on them. And then you've got. I'll show you the size of these forks in a minute. Need the brake. Want to start it? No, no. Just 
Why do people always hide the key? Loads of manufacturers do that. Instead of it like being where you can see it, they're like, <laughs> right, let, let, right, when you're sat in it, where can we put it out of the way? So like, you know, if it's an emergency and someone jumps on and wants to turn it off, you're like... If you go all the way down. Which, is, which brings the boom in, the top roller. bending them, wouldn't you? Jesus. You would struggle to find some pallets though that you can fit them in. You've also got quick tilt as well. What does that mean? Oh, is that for like rattling? No. Oh, sorry, side, yeah, yeah, side shift. Oh yeah, it's got a little indicator there, hasn't it? When you're level. So we like rocked it over that way. And we're rocking it back now. Probably can't really see that on the camera because the whole thing's going in it. So I got like a little mini wiper down there as well. Yeah, so they got rid of the dashboard here. Oh yeah, so you can Went see to the down. Screen. Yeah, and use that way. No way. And we use a double wiper. And this is all patent now, these cage on top on here. Yeah. But you can see everywhere. You see through it, but yeah. when you look the other way you can't. Um, and you've also got things like, so you're steering to full lock there. If you turn that on, it should be like twice the speed. It's, oh, it's quicker to move. Oh, like quick steer? Yeah, yeah like really quick. Just a bit dangerous from the road. It cuts out over a certain speed anyway. Cup holder behind you. They never put a cup holder here though, do they? They're loads of the same. And this is the Vario Plus as well, which is driven by two motors instead. If you've got usual hydrostatics, like your Vario will have single motor, single pump. Right. And these will drive on a twin motor. And it'll kick out over 20k. Right. So you go down a single motor. And it's also now an auto, auto hot rig as well. Oh, yeah. So if you put it in, say you're in. Uh, so say you just, if you just uh, hit the throttle a little bit now. And then say you come to stop, just put it into neutral. If you get off the seat now, it'll kick it, I'll put the handbrake on automatically. Yeah, yeah. If it, that's turned on, is that that's forwards and backwards? Yeah, like someone's shoeing it upside down. This is quite nifty. So, that is camera on the boom. So, if you're loading a truck. You can see in it, and you can also have it so automatically when it lifts up to a certain height, it turns the camera on. And when you go in reverse, it then puts the rear camera on. <laughs> Massive! Are they forks? Jesus! Where's the camera then? There. Yeah. Oh, I see, yes, yeah, so you can change the angle. Oh, that's clever, it's like wireless as well. Yeah. You can change that to more of a tip angle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then you've got, you can have a camera on the side as well, can you? It's not covered on the back, actually, no? Yeah. Yes, it's just like your car, you just lift the mat out, wash it out and then stick it back in again. Well, I just, these handles over there for when you're like three foot. So we've got Andrew gets in. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> well, that's good actually, there's another cup holder there. Yeah, it's a cup holder there. Just change these door cards to like this. Yeah. Put your mat book in for when you get lost. <laughs> Got electric windows and a fuel release from the inside. That's good, isn't it? Is that how you fill the hydraulic oil? Yeah. <laughs> As well, I think if you, I think, you do something like, yeah, so you can hang stuff behind your caps in there. Yeah, you clip it on there. Yeah. 
Try to keep it different colours so people can't get fused as well. Yeah. It's quite long though, isn't it? It's a six, six tonne to nine metres. Yeah. What does the V, oh, is that the levelling? Yeah, V plus is your V, v plus gearbox and your L's your the level, I think. Frame levelling. I could be completely wrong, but we'll go with that. <laughs> Look at this black bale trailer here. Strobe on the back. And it's 33 foot long, which is a bit odd, but it's because everyone's been complaining on the 32 foot one. You can't fit the bales on, so it's got an extra piece in here, an extra foot. And it's the most popular size bale trailer now, it's 33 foot. It's on some nice tyres. Strap box on this side here. Break away for the handbrake. It's on the front of a Deutz, that's how So you've got a... Oh yeah, it's got a strap box this side as well. Well, that's handy, so you can put your ratchets in one side and your, your rolls in the other. Look good in black until, until they get dirty. Be forever clean, isn't it? Now, if you're watching Glenn and Stephen, do you recognise this? I think it could, might have even been your old one, actually. It's for punching holes in steel so you can put a piece of plate in press that pedal and it chops straight through or flat bar or angle just, just guillotine or a hydra crop just lights up let's have a look now what we've got plenty of paint batteries Kubota. Ooh, that's good coloured cable ties I like coloured cable ties no mini digger in? Where's the mini diggers? Uh, with all the metal workers? Down in there. Oh no, I'll go in now. Uh, yeah, I'll go and have a look. That a velvet crow. It's a bit random, isn't it? See if it scares them. Zero turn mower. Where am I going? Acro straight across? So this is the new area at the mill, the building. Ah, so all the stuff that used to put in the showroom is now... Big log splitters. Load log splitters. Compact tractors. Little mini digger. Is that a flail for a digger as well, yeah? Flail from... Ooh, electric pump truck. That looks expensive. Don't say the price. We don't need an electric one, but the one the one we've got would be handy if it worked. A two and a half tonner. Twenty one grand. That that sounds cheap. You can't get much with an engine and hydraulics for nowadays. Three man or two cement mixer with it as well. I would say that's cheap. Well, good value. People don't like the word cheap, do they? Some headstocks off something there. Track dumpers. Yeah, so I presume this is work in progress. I think they've been putting a new roof on it. Anyway, that was a quick mooch round Cheshire Farm Machinery while I was passing. I had a brew as well and some biscuits. Uh, catch up with them. They come on the tractor and support it. So it's always good to call in and say hello and support them. Uh, so if you need anything, even water pipe, you sell that as well. James, are you looking for something to feed? Sister's got a punch, so I've just been blowing her tyre up. You know Morgan said that that's brass, doesn't need PTFE tape. Well, it did. So come on then, who else has been burning empty boxes and wrapping paper today? While he's quickly distracted me watching Peppa Pig, here's today's birthday bum. We've got Harry Clark on there. Someone put baby Jesus on there. Big donation as well, so thank you. Martin Maguire, Frank Kelsall, Jake Waring, or Waring. It's 12. Cillian T is on there. John Lloyd, Ed Greenow, and Andrew Bridget is on there. And now we have raised £55,175. It's gone up quite a bit in the last 24 hours, so thank you very much for that. Happy birthday, everyone on there, and anybody else's birthdays, and also happy Christmas. 
And that's James saying happy birthday in his language. That is all for today. I hope you've had a good Christmas. Hope you've had a good Boxing Day. Let me know what your favourite thing is you saw at Cheshire Farm Machinery in the comments. And then we know to film more of that stuff in the future. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.